Today is gonna be a very, very exciting day. I've always had this parking dilemma here at the Burlacker's house. Sometimes cars are double parked or triple parked. I have cars at Rollins' house, cars over at Johnny's house, cars off at Megs and Models. And when the Gallardo's done, when the Gladiator's done, it's only gonna further exasperate the issue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. We are moving off to the new Strat headquarters. That does not mean we are moving out of the Burlacker's house. This is purely an industrial garage to store cars, to work on cars. Uh, Mrs. Burlacker is probably heavily disappointed but she does love my dog, so I, I think we're good. At least at least for a while. I, until there's a baby burlacker. Whoa. Whoa. I, I definitely should clarify. Burlacker, Mrs. Burlacker are not <laughs> expecting a baby. I probably should cut this out of the vlog. I'm not I feel like every time I start up one of my cars that sounds like a vacuum cleaner, I whine and complain about it. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. We're not going to... Okay, sounds terrible. We're driving from right here to right there because, of course, naturally, the Rolls-Royce limo is dead. I want to drive over it so bad. I just don't want to scratch the paint on the Raptor. Kind of sort of a funny story. The day the Bugatti was delivered to the neighborhood, we had an 18-wheeler coming to the circle, so we had to get all of the cars out of the way, and there was only one car that would not start. 15 minutes before we jump started the Rolls Royce with the Raptor, we got it out of the way just in the, just in the nick of time. And so today, for the sake of my neighbors and my neighborhood, we're gonna take the car to the warehouse, we're gonna dump it there, it's gonna RIP until one of you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful individuals decides you need a little more luxury in your life. Please buy it, like, please buy it. Okay, I'm not actually crying, I'm not actually that emotional, but somebody should take it off our hands. Quick double check, positive, positive, negative, negative, and positive, positive, negative, negative. We're gonna let the Raptor run for a little bit and charge that limit. Start up. There we go. Every single time. Listen to that V8 purr. Whoever's the beautiful individual watching today's video that's gonna buy this limousine, I will make you a package deal. I will throw in a set of jumper cables. That's a pretty good deal, I feel like a used car salesman right now. The only reason this car is having battery issues, it's actually a very reliable car. We just haven't driven it this summer, and so because we're driving it maybe once a month, the battery dies, we jump it, and then everything is kind of sort of okay, except for the power steering pump. That needs to be replaced, but it has a new starter. I mean, it's got a new starter. This is a bad idea. On all accounts, this is a bad idea, but if you were here, one, two, three, skidoosh! Oh. Welcome to headquarters, boys. If anybody needs some packing peanuts, I have 156 cubic feet, so yeah. Please take them. Welcome here to the new headquarters. Now when I say headquarters, obviously I'm saying that because it sounds cooler. It's a 3,500 square foot warehouse, but finally we have enough place to park almost as many cars as we want. That being said, obviously I spent all my money on the Bugatti, but we got car storage over here. We got the car graveyard over here. I'm gonna start working on my cars a little bit more. I'm just so excited to finally have my own space. I am so old and I've never had my own space. That being said, I am renting it for the next year, so. I don't actually own it, but I do, but I don't, but I don't. I definitely don't, but I, it's mine. I truly don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this space. Obviously I rented it for the warehouse, but there's a bunch of office space as well. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this room. We have this entranceway right here. We have like a kitchenette. I'm not sure if it's a kitchenette. There's no fridge, there's no microwave. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. We have bathroom number one right there. And this door, employees only, is to the other side. We have the warehouse and then we have the dark creepy staircase right here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space. I know a lot of you guys are gonna suggest that I should live in here. I like living with Burlacker and happy puppy, happy life. Oscar loves Burlacker and also legally, I'm not allowed to live here. I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these rooms. I don't know, if you guys have any good ideas, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Chamber! It's Sunday, so none of the other tenants are here. Don't worry. There's no other tenant here. And go! I wish the Bugatti sounded like this. It's so good. I love the Shelby Raptor, but there's two issues with the Shelby Raptor. Tire number one and tire number two. You can't actually use the thing as a truck. This is not my prettiest shot. Come on. Whew. I mean... It kind of sort of works, sort of, maybe. Out of nowhere, bro, I need you. I came to help. My Raptor yeah, doesn't work. Yeah. I need a real Raptor, a V8 Raptor. You're welcome. Status racing seat number one. I messed up, I had Taco Bell. I didn't text James, I think uh, 
Are I haven't feel... eaten all day. I fell yeah. on my head, bro. <laughs> I dove into the packing peanuts like you suggested. Yeah. I think I'm gonna die. Status seat number two. Honestly, my head is killing me. Is this a new tonneau cover? Yeah, I don't know if wow. your viewers know, but uh... Wait, whoa, 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 easy there, big fella. I see a link in your future. Oh. Yeah, link below. Like, what happened to that? You haven't even opened these, bro. Don't, no, please don't. How long have they been in there? Probably a month or so. Oh, no. Oh. They good? Is this fragile? Yes. Expensive? Yes. Okay. Handle with care. Okay. If you look closely, the front of the Raptor is actually higher than the back of the Raptor, and that's because baby bird lacquer. Oh, that was a terrible angle. One last chance. Um, Burlacker? You there? Oh, jeez. You know, I just realized something. Having both these vehicles next to each other, they look good together. I will make you a deal. I will sell you the rolls. Are you talking to me or the viewers? You. I don't want the look stupid rolls. Call. It's a graveyard in here now. It looks good together. I'll sell it to you. A buck. Jumper cables too? Included? Yes. Done. One dollar. Okay. Johnny boy! Looking good, whoa, bro. How could you do us like that? Did you notice that the Rolls Royce is gone? You're welcome. Home values are going through Henry. Poor Henry. It's a straight pipe V8. Straight up. The Rolls Royce is gone. Yeah. Uh, what, what'd you do? You're <laughs> I sold it. My property I value just went whoop, whoop, whoop. I legit sold it. You sold it to who? I sold it to James for a dollar. I didn't actually buy it, it was a joke. Well, actually for a dollar, you know what? I'd buy it for two bucks. Oh, I done. I sold. <laughs> All right. So you sold it to me and I just sold it to Johnny. Yeah, I'm going to make a hot tub out of it. You're welcome, world. That's a good idea. Pound it. <laughs> All 250 backpacks sold out. Uh, if you got one of the 250, thank you for the support. We're never going to make them ever again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I promised you guys a house update and sure enough, we're at my piece of land, 1.7 acres. So we have lot one, we have lot two, my lot, lot three, lot four is actually under construction already. I'm not gonna say the house update is that exciting, but it's an update nonetheless. Engineering is done, which means the design is finalized. I sent the design work, the engineering work off to three general contractors waiting to get their bids back. Probably gonna take four to six weeks, probably longer, honestly. Once I get the bids back, I choose one, we secure financing, we apply for permits, assuming the permits get accepted, we break ground. Now, reasonably, I don't think we're gonna break ground in 2020. Hopefully we will. Optimism level is very, very low, but the drone, the drone is very, very high. One, two, three, go. I own a sunflower, no way. I really do need to come out here and pick out some weeds, but there's a lot, a lot of weeds. Enjoy this view because the next time you're out here, the weeds are probably gonna be this tall. I say this every single time, there's not gonna be a spin glass ever in this cul-de-sac, not because I don't want to, because I need that neighbor, that neighbor, and that neighbor to like me. Also, I'm not buying any more Rolls Royce limos. Next time I see that Rolls Royce, I want a sold sign. Hear me? The V12 and the W16 look so cool together. What vanity place should I get for the Veyron? Hmm. The Aventador is Strad. The Gallardo is Strad. Man, what do we do for the Bugatti? We could do Strad Bug, maybe? If you guys have any good ideas, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna turn the ignition on. Pay attention to the horsepower gauge. You see how it only goes up to 850? I'll explain why. One second. The Veyron isn't crazy loud, but it's not like obnoxious like the Aventador. It has a nice like girthy grumble to it. A girthy grumble, I like that. I think there might be a fire off in California. The sun is just beaming glowing red right now. 21,066 miles on the Veyron. To put the Veyron into sport mode, you just bump it like that. We do have launch control, but three, two, one, lift off. Wow. 
I'm telling you, if this car had wings, we would actually take off. I was just having a nice, chill Labor Day weekend, beautiful Sunday afternoon, and now my heart rate has spiked. Wait for it, wait for it. Straighten up, go. Go to show speed, brakes, brakes, brakes. I need to check the EPA estimates, but I'm pretty sure the Veyron gets seven in the city and 15 on the highway. Seven, boys. Seven. Wedged in between the driver's seat and the door seal, you can see the slot for the top speed key. Right next to it, gas cap. Gas cap, gas door. You guys can see that the Veyron is rated for 93 octane, but unfortunately, in the beautiful state of Utah, we only have 91. It is the only state in the entire United States that only has 91. I also want to point out that the gas cap on the Veyron is so incredibly chintzy. Like, my Gallardo is so nice. Machined aluminum, and this is just cheap plastic. I'm sure it still costs like $10,000 to replace but regardless, so yeah, 91. Now because the Varon was tuned to run on 93 octane and I only have 91, I actually had to detune the car to 850 horsepower. There's a procedure to do that. I'll show you guys how I did that in a future video. It's crazy the difference though. It's a 15% difference and it is a noticeable difference. And when I say 1,001 horsepower, we really only have 850, so Utah is the only state in the entire country that does not have one single gas station with 93 octane. So I'm gonna have to order some online, I think, if that's possible, I don't, I don't really know. $24 later, eight gallons. That means that's gonna last me 56 miles. There's just something about that 850 life. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know what it is. It's not a good feeling. 850 is just not the same. Oh my gosh, okay, it's still a lot. <laughs> wow, we we kind of, we didn't, but we, we kind of did. I know this is going to be kind of sort of an awkward sequence in the vlog, but that building right there is the coolest building in the entire state of Utah. It looks like Batman's headquarters. Check that out. Uh, we're going to fly to Joan because we don't need to, but we can. <laughs> It, but Lone Peak Correctional Facility, I really don't want to go to jail, so we're just gonna chill. I know the tires are impractical, but the Raptor just looks so cool. It's such a good looking truck, albeit completely worthless. Except for jumping, we haven't jumped it yet though. I just came up with a weird idea, and I'm not sure how I feel. I have no idea why I've been really thinking about this. I think the Rolls Royce limo, Burlacker spent 24 hours on the Rolls Royce limo, the famous rap song, Waking Up in a New Bugatti, it's a used Bugatti. I can't play this song because of copyright infringement, but what if I spent 24 hours in the Bugatti Veyron, assuming I fall asleep, I would become the first person in the entire history of the world to actually wake up in a Bugatti. I realize the song says a new Bugatti, it's a used Bugatti, but that's nonsense, that's garbage. So if today's video, I'm regretting this, I should not do this. Okay, so before I overthink this, before I come to my senses, 159, 452, 159,452 likes, I will spend 24 hours in my Bugatti. It's a fixed seat, a carbon back seat. My neck still hurts. I am way too old for this. Uh, I guess smash the like button or maybe, maybe not though. I mean, you don't have to, but you could, but you probably shouldn't. And on that terrible proposal or preposition of sorts, today's video is over. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, I guess smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.